Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Well, it's a few days after uh, Donald Trump's win in the US uh, presidential election, and I know a lot of us have had a good time uh, seeing the mass triggering, uh, making fun of the reactions of uh, social justice warriors uh, and progressives, uh, seeing seeing them freak out uh, over, his, over his victory. But I just thought I'd take this opportunity to present a, a serious message to leftists and progressives in the aftermath of, of Trump's victory. Please chillax. You've spent the last 18 months believing your own rhetoric, uh, uh, fearing that a Trump presidency would, would be the end of the world, and in the aftermath of, of him winning, uh, uh, you're seeing your, your world crumble around you, uh, you're having an emotional breakdown, and so I'd just like to uh, to ask you to just gain a bit of perspective. I mean, look at the reality of, of what's going on and, and the fears that you've created for yourself. I mean, we've seen no reports of, of Klansmen marching in the streets. I mean, we're seeing no reports of, of swastikas being carved into various buildings around America. I mean, we're not seeing burning crosses uh, put, put outside uh, people's property. I mean, life is pretty, pretty much going on as normal. There's been no increase in actual hate crimes. We've seen a lot of fake hate crimes being reported on social media, but not many that have actually been corroborated by uh, local police. And we have to remember that, uh, tr uh, that Trump, uh, he's been called a, a racist, but he actually hasn't said anything about taking away rights from blacks or Latinos and making them second-class citizens. I mean, it's only if they're, they're in, the, in the country illegally that he wants to take any action against them. So if you're a US citizen and you're a, a member of another race, you really have nothing to be worried about. There's also been uh, a mass freak out by feminists saying that uh, this is a victory for misogyny and that they're fearing that there's going to be an increase in, in sexual assaults. I mean, they're, they're saying that uh, some women are saying, oh, they fear they're going to be grabbed by the pussy by uh, random men in the street. I mean, this is a, a ridiculous thing. I mean, Trump's not going to repeal laws against sexual assault. I mean, that's just a ridiculous uh, proposition. And there's also the fact that uh, there's been uh, fear by LGBT people about their future. There's uh, reports that they're worried they're going to be all sent to conversion therapy, which is just ridiculous. Uh, there's been reports of trans people uh, committing suicide, which which is just ridiculous. And the left should really be ashamed of uh, whipping of, uh, members of the LGBT community in, 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 into such a frenzy of panic. I mean, Trump is one of the most pro-LGBT candidates that the Republicans have put up. Uh, I mean, in his uh, acceptance speech at the Republican National Convention, he said he wanted to protect LGBTQ people. Uh, some of his biggest supporters were Milo Yiannopoulos, uh, Peter Thiel, and of course, uh, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. I mean, so there is really nothing to be concerned about uh, in this area, and we're also seeing uh, at universities uh, uh, they're offering counselling to students who are so traumatised by the by the results. I mean, they're making exams optional now uh, at elementary schools. Uh, children have been crying because they think that uh, the children from other races in their class are, are going to be deported. I mean, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, this this fear and uh, trauma is 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 really is really over overdone. I mean, the earth will still turn when Donald Trump's president, and you probably won't even notice that he is the president. I mean, the great thing about uh, being in a in a free society is that uh, your leaders don't have much of an impact in in your daily lives. I mean, I remember when. George W. Bush was president. Uh, I mean, he was despised by the left, yet nobody really noticed the an impact that he was having on their daily lives. I mean, if you're a member of minority group, you didn't really not notice the 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 policies policies of his administration in your 
in your everyday life. I mean, the only actual uh, violence we're seeing in the aftermath of, of Trump's victory is from the left with their protests and their chance of not by president asking for revolution. I mean, that's the only uh, that's the only uh, civil unrest that we're saying. It's not coming from from Trump supporters or or white supremacists or any, or anyone like that. I mean, progressives just need to realize that all that's happened here is they've just lost an election. Their preferred candidate in Hillary Clinton didn't get elected. So you can be di disappointed, but don't fall apart over it. I mean, I wouldn't have been sick or suicidal or cried or unable to sleep uh, if Hillary Clinton had won. I would have, I would have been disappointed, but I would have just, it would have just encouraged me to uh, try next time. I mean, I actually welcome a Trump presidency because I think it will lead to greater economic prosperity. Uh, more safety for uh, safer communities for US US citizens and also a more peaceful uh, world as well with Trump's uh, uh, Trump's uh, foreign policy. So I really think there is cause for optim optimism about uh, what a what a Trump presidency will bring. I mean, uh, he, he might turn out to be bad, but it's definitely not going to be the end of the world. And this freak out by progressives is 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 just ridiculous. So I just thought I'd make this message. Just I mean, uh, just I mean this sincerely. Just you need to chillax, and yeah, and just life will go on as normal. There is no need for this hysteria. So I hope that. I have uh, put things in perspective for you, and uh, thank you for watching. Hi, thanks for watching an Unshackled Fast on YouTube or Facebook. To make sure that you never miss one of our fasts, uh, please either subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook. And don't forget to visit the unshackled.net to make sure that you keep up with the latest news and commentary about the battles against the enemies of freedom and liberty.